everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 4th of august 2022 let's start who has been named as the new md and ceo of the national stock exchange so market regulator sebi has named mr ashish chauhan as the new md and the ceo of the national stock exchange so he is currently the md and ceo of the bombay stock exchange and he is known for reviving the exchange which was on the edge of a shutdown in the year 2009 so bsc and its subsidiary cdsl launched successful ipos under his leadership okay so now he will be the new md of national stock exchange Let's see some of the important and recent appointments. Ahmed Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Saba has been appointed as the Prime Minister of which country? So he is the new Prime Minister of the country Kuwait. Which Indian economist has been appointed the Chief Economist of the World Bank? This is Indranit Gill, right? Who has been appointed as the new Prasar Bharti Chief Executive Officer? So the new CEO of Prasar Bharti is Mayank Kumar Agarwal who has been appointed as the director of the Asia and the Pacific Department of International Monetary Fund answer is Mr Krishna Srinivasan okay who has been appointed as the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme ombudsman this is NJ Oja who was appointed as the new managing director of State Bank of India recently so the newly appointed md of sbi is mr alok kumar choudhry okay and don't forget that recently godrej has made anushka sharma as its brand ambassador okay next question chabahar port which was seen in the news recently is located in which country so this port is a strategic port that is located in iran and it is the commercial transit center for the central asian region right so chabahar day is celebrated to mark the beginning of international north south transport corridor and it is a kind of indian vision to facilitate the movement of cargo between india and central asia right So on the occasion of this day Union Ports Shipping and Waterways Ministry along with the Indian Ports Global Limited which was formed to participate in Chabahar development project organized a conference in Mumbai okay so this port lies in the country Iran let's see some of the important international current affairs which country passed the chips bill and chips stands for creating helpful incentive to produce semiconductors so the us house of representatives passed this chips and science bill and it aims to provide assistance and subsidy worth 280 billion dollars to the semiconductor industry which is currently facing the competition from china so this bill would provide 52 billion dollars in subsidies and additional tax credits to the companies that manufacture the chips there in usa okay which country has drafted a constitution 
which states nature has rights so chile has democratically drafted a constitution for the very first time in chile's history and the proposed text was written by a 154 member body elected through a popular vote so the current 1980 constitution of chile focuses on the private rights and the free market principles but now some of the new features include for example that the president could be re-elected consecutively only once okay and uh, an entire article for environment is there which states that nature has right and that animals are subject of special protection okay so correct answer would be chile scientists from which country have developed the world's most durable hydrogen fuel cell so scientists at the hong kong university have developed a new hydrogen fuel cell and it is the world's most durable cell so far and also the most cost effective okay so this can expand the scope of application of the green energy across the world and hydrogen fuel cells effectively generate the power by converting hydrogen and oxygen into electricity without emitting carbon dioxide particulate matter and other air pollutant right long march 5b rocket which crash landed in indian ocean was launched by which country so long march is a flagship series of the rockets launched by the country china and this long march 5b rocket recently crash landed near the indian ocean so it was launched in the month of june to deliver the solar powered ventian experiment module to the china's tiangong space station and in a statement nasa said that china did not share a specific trajectory information as the long march 5p rocket fell back to earth next is which country has announced to launch a new joint international semiconductor research hub with japan this is the country usa okay next question which state is the venue of the india oman joint military drill al naja so indian army and the royal army of oman have recently started their 13 day joint military exercise in rajasthan india and the fourth edition of this al naja focuses on counter terrorism regional security and peacekeeping operations okay so al naja is the exercise between india and oman let's see some of the important states that were in news which state police was recently honored with the president's color so vice president venkaiah naidu has recently awarded the prestigious president's color award to tamil nadu police and uh, he presented the award on behalf of the supreme commander of the armed forces of india and the president color is the highest honor that is presented to any military or the state police in recognition of its exceptional service of at least 25 years to the nation right martand sun temple which was seen in the news recently is located in which state or the union territory so this sun temple lies in jammu and kashmir loktak lake the largest fresh water lake in india is located in which state it lies in the state of manipur and don't forget that the only floating national park of india that is kebul lamjo national park also lies in the same state that is in manipur pg wildlife sanctuary where a new damsel fly species was spotted is in which state so this wildlife sanctuary lies in the state of kerala which state government has launched its online taxi hiring service for the very first time in india so recently kerala has started its online taxi hiring service just like the professional cabs which indian state is the first to launch the breakfast scheme for the students of the government school so tamil nadu is the very first state to launch the breakfast scheme for their students who are studying in the government primary schools okay next question 
who is the head of the task force recently set up by the center to monitor the monkeypox situation in india so central government has established a task force to monitor the monkeypox situation in india and it is headed by dr v k paul who is the member of niti ayog so this task force also includes the secretary of union health ministry pharma and biotech and it will advise the government on expanding the diagnostic facilities and investigating the vaccination against the disease so india has reported four monkeypox cases so far and three cases are from kerala and one was found to be in new delhi okay coming to the question slide the indian navy recently received two mh60 romeo multi role helicopters from which country so we have received this mh60 romeo multi role helicopters from the country usa recently atul anada goswami who recently passed away was a famous writer in which language so he was a famous writer in assamese language european investment bank has recently joined which initiative of india so eib has recently joined our cdri what is this coalition for disaster resilient infrastructure initiative nobel laureate david trimble who recently passed away was the first minister of which country so he was the first minister of ireland and recently he passed away sir winston churchill leadership award was recently presented to which leader so this award has recently been presented to the president of ukraine vladimir zelensky netaji subhash chandra bose island which was seen in the news recently is located in which state or the union territory this island is also known as ross island and it lies in the andaman and nicobar islands next question exercise winbacks 2022 is a bilateral army exercise conducted between india and which other country so india and vietnam have commenced the third edition of vietnam india bilateral army exercise named as winbacks and this 20 day military exercise is scheduled to be conducted in haryana state and the theme of the exercise is deployment of an engineer company and a medical team as a part of united nations contingent for peacekeeping operation okay theme is not very relevant only thing you have to remember is which two countries are involved in this exercise india and vietnam let's see some of the important exercises which country organizes the annual military exercise named as han kuang answer would be taiwan indian navy conducted a maritime partnership exercise with which country in the andaman sea so we have conducted a maritime partnership exercise recently with japan okay and from india side ins sukanya participated in this sea guardians 2 is a joint maritime exercise conducted by which two countries so this exercise include two countries china and pakistan don't forget that recently financial action task force that is fatf has retained the pakistan in its gray list indian navy's stealth frigate anis tarkash conducted a maritime partnership exercise with which country's navy so we have conducted this exercise with the country sudan and from india side anis tarkash participated while from sudan side two navy ships participated named as almas and naimar the multinational peacekeeping exercise called exercise khan quest 2022 was organized in which country this exercise was organized in the country mongolia india recently conducted a coordinated patrol exercise that is corpat with which country on the andaman sea and the straits of malacca answer is indonesia okay can you tell me the name of at least three countries with which india do not conduct the corpat exercise do let me know in the comments next question as per the national health authorities recent announcement covin application is repurposed for which program so covin is being repurposed for the universal immunization 
program at present. And Cohen, head and CEO of National Health Authority, Dr. R. S. Sharma, announced that the application will help in discovery of vaccination centers and reminders for the subsequent vaccinations for preventable diseases for the mothers and the newly born. Okay. Now let's see some of the important applications that were in news these days. What is the name of the new application launched by UIDAI to authenticate the Aadhaar number with FACE? So the name of this application is Aadhaar FACE RD. Okay. Viva Engage is the new application of which tech major? This is the new application of Microsoft. E Amrit mobile application which was recently launched is associated with which sector? So the full form of E Amrit is Accelerated E Mobility Revolution for India's Transportation. Okay. So this term is related to electric mobility, which is the first state in India to implement the national e vidhan application. So the first state in India to implement the national e vidhan application is Naga Land. Which institution launched the CIS mobile application? Answer would be NCPCR means National Commission for Protection of Child Rights. Which payment application has RBL Bank partnered with to offer the UPI payments? So for offering the UPI payments, RBL Bank has basically partnered with the Amazon Pay. Okay. Next question. Which racing driver won the 2022 Hungarian Grand Prix title? So Red Bull's ace racing driver Max Verstappen won the 2022 Hungarian Grand Prix and seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton was at second position while Mercedes teammate George Russell finished at third. And this win was Max Verstappen's eighth of the season and 28th of his career. Okay. Let's see some of the important Grand Prixes. Which racing driver won the French Grand Prix 2022? Recently, this Grand Prix was won by Max Verstappen. Second was Lewis Hamilton and third was George Russell. Which racing driver won the Austrian Grand Prix 2022 title? Answer would be Charles Leclerc. Second was Max Verstappen and third was Lewis Hamilton. Which racing driver won the British Grand Prix 2022? So it was won by Carlos Sainz. Which racing driver won the 2022 Canadian Grand Prix? So it was won by Max Verstappen. Second was Carlos Sainz. Third was Lewis Hamilton. Which racing driver won the Azerbaijan Formula 1 Grand Prix title in 2021? Again answer is Max Verstappen. Which racing driver won the Monaco Grand Prix title? So winner was Sergio Paris. Second was Carlos Sainz and third was Max Verstappen. Okay. Next question. Which foreign bank's IFSC banking unit was recently inaugurated in Gibb City, Ahmedabad? So Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the IFSC banking unit of Deutsche Bank AG at the Gujarat International Finance Tech City that is Gibb City in Ahmedabad. So the IBU will offer the financial products across the trade finance, fixed income and currencies in the initial phase. And also it will provide all approved international financing product to this bank's clients in India as well as in overseas. Okay. Coming to the question slide, here we'll see some of the important banking related current affairs. Which Indian bank has acquired the consumer banking operations of Citibank? This is Axis Bank. What is the name of the Canra Bank's mobile banking super application? This is Canra AI1. Which state has signed Memorandum of Understanding with Telangana to set up all women-run cooperative bank? This is Rajasthan state. Asian Development Bank has approved $96.3 million loan to which state for safe drinking water and sanitation? So ADB has approved this much loan to the state Himachal Pradesh for their safe drinking water and sanitation projects. Headquarters of ADB lies in Philippines. The World Bank has approved a funding of 
1600 crore rupees to which state for the power sector development answer is himachal pradesh okay next question what is the official slogan of the 2024 paris olympics so organizers of the 2024 paris olympics unveiled games wide open so the 2024 summer olympics or you can say the 33rd olympiad is scheduled to take place in july to august 2024 right and the official slogan is games wide open let's see some of the important sports related current affairs germany lalrin nunga who won the gold medal in the commonwealth games plays which sports so he won a gold medal for india in the men's 67 kgs category weightlifting in the commonwealth games right and he is just 19 years old athlete and he belongs from mizoram and also he created a new commonwealth games record in the snatch event by picking up 140 kgs and this was india's fifth medal actually from the weightlifting area including mirabai chanu she won the gold sanket sagar backed silver bidya rani devi backed silver and gururaj pujari backed bronze okay so here correct answer would be weight lifting olympic champion neeraj chopra won which medal in the 2022 world athletics championship so he has recently backed the silver medal in this championship which indian player won the paris in open a chess tournament 2022 in serbia answer would be pragnananda which indian sports person won the singapore open 2022 championship title this is pv sindhu which sports person won the malaysia masters badminton title 2022 it was won by chico ora v wardoyo right and uh, he won this title by defeating angus ka long who is from hong kong okay and chico ora belong to the country indonesia fine now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minus hatsana signing off